What you also should do, you should verify your mix if there are any errors inside. Um, just by hitting simple one button, I have the so-called global analysis. I will analyze my entire mix, see the peaks at the left and right side. I see, oh, my right side is a little bit uh, lower than the left, side, left one. There I must change something. I have a look at the loudness. Um, an average loudness of minus 12 decibel is okay, so I will disable the, the compression. Um, I can find out the pitch. Um, we have the DC offset. We remember that. And we have a look at errors. We have no clippings, which, which is okay. If we would have clips, we have some plugins within WaveLab, like um, auto correction or, or manual correction. If you zoom in very wide, you could even use a pencil to eliminate some clicks. Um, so it's not only mastering. Mastering also is a combination uh, with, of um, uh, mastering and um, restoration, which is also very important. Okay, so we had a DC offset. Um, we have plugins to to eliminate the DC offset. Um, we have plugins to equalize the panorama. You, you've seen the left side was a little bit louder than the right, right one. So we have a panorama normalizer. We have a loudness normalizer. If you want, if you're doing the mix CD, you make a heavy heavy metal CD with Motorhead, Iron Maiden, and all of them, and all of them sound a little bit different because uh, the compression is different, um, the equalization is different. You can apply um, within the so-called batch process um, the loudness normalizer or any plugin which is included in WaveLab to uh, equalize those different uh, music. Um, it's a really wide, wide field uh, in mastering. Um, maybe one interesting thing, um, we have in WaveLab 6 uh, so-called Spectrum editor. Um, so this is quite new in audio editing and mastering, but um, here you can make selections on the spectral basis. Um, I'd like to show you something. Try to imagine you have a ready mix. Everything is done in the studio, but um, there's one element in your music which you don't like anymore. So you you must normally you must remix the entire song, but um, not with WaveLab 6. Let's listen to this little piece of music for a few seconds and try to listen to the girl sample. She's singing, oh my lord, something like this. This was the oh my lord sample. In the normal wave view, you don't even find it. Where's this oh my lord sample, which we don't like anymore? We changed to the spectrum editor. And there it's very easy to find. Look, look, look here. You can see this thing doesn't fit to my mix. Let's listen again to it, just to verify. Let's, let me try to eliminate this, oh my lord. I make a selection of it. I choose define as destination region. Then I try to find a, a nearly similar spectral region in the song, which I will copy and then paste to the destination region. It's gone. And now we listen to the result. So the music is still there, but uh, the voice is gone. Uh, this is really advanced uh, spectrum editing. On, um, so, you see, WaveLab is a combination of uh, cutting, editing, analysis, restoration, and basically whatever you want. More, more far than only recording music, what you will do normally with your Cubase.